Hi everyone, it's Terry and Evan back talking to you today about the great outdoors. And Evan's already put in a couple hours of online learning today. And so now we're doing the outdoor learning. As we were walking around visiting our favorite trees, checking out the spring buds, how they're developing, he found a plant he'd really like you to get to know. Do you, can you tell us what the name of this plant is today, Evan? It's called mullen. Maybe while you're standing there, you can show them the stalk and they can see if they've... Have you seen this stalk before? That's the flowers and then it gets to be a lot longer than this. So he's got about half the length of the original stalk. We'd like to show you what this plant looks like and then tell you a little bit more about it. Here's a good look at the plant we're talking about. Mullen is a biennial. So it takes two years to complete its growth. This part of the plant is called a rosette. And Evan, why don't you reach down there and see if you can touch those little leaves and tell me a little bit about it. Well, they're all pretty soft, even the really old ones. This is going to enter its second year. It is. It's going to enter its second year. And in the second year, what happens in this plant? It grows a tall stalk. Yeah, that stalk we showed you earlier comes up early spring summer in the second year oh, yeah. so this is what it looks like right now if you've got the second year plant we're still calling it first year sort of because the stock has not developed though it will yet this spring and summer so back to the top let us tell you a little bit more about this plant here we are again we want to tell you more about mullen but before we continue we have a confession to make I am not a doctor. Are you a doctor? No. Neither of us are doctors, so we cannot give you medical advice. But we can tell you how this plant has been used historically for thousands of years all around the world. And most cultures will tell you that this plant was used as a bronchial plant, something to benefit the lungs. So the leaves are one of the parts that are harvested. That's the part we're going to use for a lung um, remedy, especially if you have a deep, harsh, dry cough, or you have mucus or phlegm that you're not able to cough up. Also good for bronchitis and things like that. That's how it's been used historically. Evan wants to show you a little bit more about how this plant is set up. I'm going to show you the seeds. They're super tiny. Can you even see them? It's like a little grain of pepper, isn't it? There. There you got it. Super tiny. So you can imagine if you hit this stock in the fall oh. and you get billions of seeds all over, it's easily propagated that way. So if you have a place you want to grow, that's what you're gonna do. We would like to go into the house and show you just a quick guide on how you might use this if you chose to follow the historical guidelines. I broke it. Hi everyone, thanks for staying with us. We're back in the kitchen now. I want you to take any mullein leaves that you have harvested, bring them inside, and the next thing you want to do is dry them thoroughly. I don't mean under the, you know, don't wash them. Take them and dry them. So what's one method of drying herbs? Um, you can place it in your hot car. Yeah, lay down a, cl a clean sheet or something or a little drying rack and put the herbs on top of it and put it in your car in the sun. It dries very quickly that way. That's one way. You might have a dehydrator or another way to do it, but you want your herb dry, not fresh. We have a jar here full of dried mullen. So the next part is we're going to measure out a whole ounce of mullen and it's quite a few handfuls. Evan's got the scale here and he's keeping an eye on the total. So you tell me when we have just about one ounce. You see, that's my third big handful. Are we getting close? You're good. Okay, so that was, well, why don't you hold that up for them to see? That's why we weigh it. We get exactly what we want. So that 
bird is now going to be stuffed into a wide mouth quart jar. I do that pretty quickly. And when you get all of this in there, I'm losing a little bit to the counter, but let's say you got your jar full of your one ounce of dried mullein. You then are going to pour water to fill. So hot water, boiling water, fill to the top. You might want to push your herb down so it's under the water. Cover tightly and allow to sit. This can sit, it should sit for at least four hours, but up to eight hours. I like to do it at night and come back in the morning, it's ready to go. Now we made a batch yesterday and put it in the freezer because I think the best medicine is always the medicine you make when you're still feeling good, right? Yeah. This is not a fun project to do if you're not feeling good. So we did mullen infusion yesterday and put it in the freezer. That's ready for me or my family. If we tend end up getting sick, we don't have to go out making it. All right, we have one more thing that we would like to show you about how to use mullen, although there's many more things that this plant can be used for. But if you stick with us for just a minute, we'll be right back to show you another way to use this plant. Hi everyone, we're back. We're laughing at ourselves because we forgot one very important detail, and that is that once you have your mullen infusion and it has been sitting for four to eight hours, the very next important thing you want to do, and it will normally be cool by then, is take the lid off and you are going to use a very tightly woven cloth. I'm using a dish cloth. It will get stained, so pick a cloth you don't care about. We used this one yesterday. You're going to cover that. You might even put a rubber band on it. And then, like I said, it, normally it would be cool. You're going to tip it over and let that infusion strain through this cloth. That will take out those little tiny fuzzy hairs. We don't want you consuming those. They would be itchy and prickly in your throat and not feel any, any good anywhere down. So make sure you strain it with a tightly woven cloth. That's critical. And then you can store it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it or freeze it as we did. Now, we are going to show you one more thing. Stay right there. Hi everyone, we're back outside. We promised we'd show you one more thing you can do with mullen stalks, though it's not the only thing. What should we try now, Evan? Let's fight. I'm on with two mullen stalks and I'm ready. He wants to have a sword fight. I figured it might come to that, so look at what I got. I got the longest, tallest one. It is longer than he is tall. Let's see how he handles it. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ah! Jab! Jab! Oh! Jab! Yeah. <laughs> and that's it, folks. Go outside, find some mullen stalks, make some mullen medicine, and have a fun time.